Hey guys, this is uh, Dr. Brian Stork here with uh, Joe Salas, my uh, partner, Dr. Joe Salas, and we wanted to make a quick YouTube video because we heard you're delayed or rain delayed, as they say, and uh, we don't want to slow you down. We just wanted to um, give you our support and share a little bit about um, Stoma Cloak and what we're doing to um, uh, make people aware of ostomates and um, issues associated with um, ostomies as part of uh, supporting men's health. So I'm going to let Dr. Salas take over here. Our uh, camera's got a motion sensor, so... Don't go anywhere, Dr. <laughs> I wore my sunglasses because I wanted to be part of the sports car crew, and uh, unfortunately we're not going to get to be live streamed through your car, but uh, you'll have to maybe uh, play us back later. But uh, my name is Joe Salas. I'm Brian Stewart's partner. I'm a urologist that uh, unfortunately a few years ago went through some uh, radical surgery and uh, I had to be replumbed. I had my bladder removed because I had prostate cancer, a men's uh, illness, invading the floor of my bladder. And uh, so I had my bladder and my prostate removed. And uh, as you know, ostomies aren't fun to have, but you must have had something fixed in order to have an ostomy. So ostomies aren't all terrible, it's just uh, a change in the plumbing. So I have a urostomy. Um, I have to wear a bag, which is otherwise known as an appliance, and uh, bags aren't comfortable. And, you know, we, we uh, Brian and I were uh, discussing what it feels like having a, an appliance in a car, but let me just tell you, in general life, uh, the bags are plastic. Uh, just, I mean, every appliance that I've tried out is plastic. It's got, may have a little bit of uh, a material covering on it, but you sweat underneath them, so you collect uh, some perspiration. You uh, collect odor either from the perspiration or from the bag contents. Uh, they're squishy and scrunchy, so they make noise. Um, and the contents are odorous, frankly. Uh, not terribly odorous, but enough that uh, you become aware of it. So uh, there are lots and lots of people out there with ostomies. I assume at least half of them are men. And uh, so because this is a drive for men's health, let me just say that uh, for whatever reason, uh, Ostomies aren't fun to have, but we have a better way of dealing with the, the difficulties. Uh, so let me just also talk, since I mentioned in uh, standard life what ostomies do. Can you imagine this? Driving in a Tesla sports car from Florida to New York and having an ostomy appliance right about where your waist belt goes from your seat belt and slowly filling up that uh, appliance. And you have a time commitment to try to get up somewhere uh, we we're trying to get to. That bag fills up and you step on the brakes. What do you think happens to the fluid? <laughs> well, the problem is that uh, the bag and the adhesive on the bag is meant to stay on there, but under normal conditions. So uh, it'll stay, but uh, generally it means that if you're aware of yourself, you empty it more often, you have to have more car stops. Um, and uh, that little bugger just keeps reminding you. When you have a tight belt against it, uh, it's even more of a reminder. So um, we invented through a company that Brian and I belong to, uh, Med5, we invented a product called Stoma Cloak. Stoma Cloak is uh, made of a polyester material that wicks away moisture. Uh, it's opaque, so it hides the device, hide, hides the uh, ostomy and the appliance. Uh, it, is, uh, it creates more of a muffled sound, so it gets rid of that scrunchy sound. But most importantly, it's uh, created out of, uh, it has an activated carbon uh, component and the activated carbon is reactivated by heating it in the dryer. Uh, and so we have this, uh, this bag that goes over, Let's see if I can get this into the camera, it's kind of a weird camera, called a stoma, stoma cloak. Stoma cloak. <laughs> and uh, it's got a hole on the back, so it just basically fits over your appliance. It wicks away the moisture. The activated carbon adsorbs odor molecules, and so it decreases your odor. Uh, makes it more likely that you'd be accepted in public. Well, that was kind of nice. I don't know what happened to the camera, but all of a sudden it was better. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> uh, but overall, it's a, it's, a, it's a better way of living. And so uh, while we know lots and lots of people with ostomies uh, drop out of the mainstream, maybe quit their jobs, uh, maybe feel like their uh, self-confidence uh, has dropped, decreased, they won't become intimate, they won't date, they won't do a number of other things. Um, we have uh, been selling this, this ostomy appliance cover now for two years, or going on two years, and uh, we have customers ranging from a young man in Minnesota that uh, wanted to go to the prom, he had an ostomy, an ileostomy for Crohn's disease, 
and he wanted to go to the prom and felt very self-confident. And, uh, you know, at that age of adolescence, it's hard to ask a girl to date, let alone uh, if you think you have body odor or have some odd appearance to your body. So he bought a stomach cloak. His mother turned right around and bought two more because she wanted his to put in the laundry. <laughs> but it was an awesome story. Uh, we have uh, elderly people wearing them. Uh, we have, uh, uh, we're selling in, uh, well, Brian, where, where are we selling this device? We, we got an order from Malta. We, we didn't even know where Malta was. Uh, we're selling it in Great Britain. We're selling it in Canada, all over the United States. So it, it's been exciting to uh, uh, learn some geography and uh, have a worldwide presence. We're a manufacturing community, so it's pretty exciting to have something to manufacture. Our local, our local manufacturing community assisted us with the, uh, the production. We're physicians. We don't know anything about business. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but apparently you guys know something about business. <laughs> but but in any case, yeah, I don't know how you guys got this uh, Tesla. But uh, anyway, we want one. <laughs> it looks like a fun ride. Yeah. You guys are uh, on your way. That, that uh, looks like a lot of fun. And uh, we are watching your streaming. Uh, you, you have some very important conversations taking place. And we understand this is the first annual. So uh, we look forward to future annuals. Uh, maybe you'll pull a trailer and we can all ride in the trailer or something next time. <laughs> We, uh, we are proud sponsors of your, of your uh, ride, and uh, uh, we look forward to uh, assisting anybody in need. Our company hasn't made any money, but we've made a lot of friends. So uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, letting us participate. Thanks, guys. Safe travels. Good Enjoy. Luck. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.